the, the regulations that are forcing the accelerated phase out of, of coal-fired power plants and granting preferential access and rates to renewable energy sources have doubled the residential electricity rates in some provinces. The subsidies paid by federal and provincial governments to renewables and other clean energy firms are also adding to Canada's already inflated public debt and increasing inflation. The economic burden of pursuing net zero is appalling. As you well know, much of that burden has already fallen on Alberta and Saskatchewan. But the emissions intensive industries that are, are, are affected competitively by the carbon taxes are spread right across the country. Um, and they include mining, metal, metal fabrication, petrochemicals, cement, steel, heavy manufacturing, and pulp and paper. About 600,000 people are employed directly or indirectly in the petroleum industry in Canada. Um, but the number of people that are employed in the emissions intensive and trade exposed industries that will be adversely affected by carbon taxes is far larger than that. What's happening is that Canada is de-industrializing to the advantage of Asia. Some of the best paying jobs we have in the country are being lost as a result. 